Thanks for joining me in today's craft. Um, I'm going to show you the steps for glass etching. And a lot of times people are really intimidated to try glass etching um, because they think the process is hard, but actually it's rather easy. And I'm going to break it down for you and show the steps. I do recommend that you do wear some type of gloves because with the etching cream, it is made from an acid. Um, and this process, when you are complete, um, the etching will be permanent. The cream, again, is made from an acid and it does etch away at the surface of your glass, transforming the look of your glass permanently. Um, so you will not be able to rub it off um, or wash the etching away. So think about what design you're gonna want to have on your finished product. Today, I found this pretty cool jar in the basement of Town Hall and thought it would be pretty cool to put some flowers in it. So first you're gonna to need to find some vinyl or some contact paper, and you can find this at the dollar store, uh, Michaels, you can get it online through Amazon. So how, if you have some at home, it'll be fine. I have chosen uh, the roll that we have here. It's black. I chose black so you guys can see it on the glass better, um, but the regular contact paper works just fine. Um, I also have here a stamp that you can use it is somewhat difficult to punch the stamp through um, both the adhesive and the back of the contact paper. And a lot of times it gets stuck in the back. So you can do what I have done, and that is to take a piece of the actual, I'm using vinyl or contact paper, fold it over, and then you're just going to cut around to make a shape. I've chosen hearts just because it's easier to cut out but you wanna make sure that you do not start at the very end of your paper to make it, because then you will cut a void, and your void is gonna end up gonna look like this. It's gonna tear, and that's not gonna look good on your bottle because the edge cream is gonna get actually under the tear part. So when you cut it out, you want your final product to be complete, kinda of like this. So when you actually put your contact paper on, you're going to find a position at first. This is actually rather large, but we're gonna go ahead and use it and put it on that way. So you're gonna go ahead and make sure your jar is clean and it's dry. Cut out all of the shapes that you want, or if you have a Cricut, that will work as well. Okay, so if you noticed, the gloves are off because if you're anything like me, you're gonna realize that the gloves that you're wearing stick really bad to this stuff. So. Let's make sure that you don't wear the gloves when you're doing this step. FYI, it didn't work out well. So take your back off. And you wanna press it down on there wherever you like it. You should be able to re-pick up and put, um, put it down as many times as you need to. Just try to make sure that um, when you press it down, you're gonna notice that there's a lot of air bubbles. So all of the air bubbles do need to come out um, because this etching cream, anywhere that the etching cream touches, it's going to um, leave that permanent mark on your glass. And of course, I'm struggling to get my template where I want it because the heart is rather large for this jar. Okay, so go ahead and make sure again that all of your bubbles are actually off around the part that you're going to want to put the cream. You're going to put the cream on the voided area of the glass because again, where you put your cream is where it's going to be etched. So I'm pretty sure, let's hope, I have all of the bubbles out of my vinyl piece. And I'm gonna show you, this is the cream that we're using. Um, we did purchase ours at Michael's. You can get it online. Um, I'm not sure about all retail stores, but again, this is the cream. It works really good. Um, so now we're gonna go ahead and put on the gloves um, so we don't stick to the vinyl anymore. Okay, with the gloves on, um, I just went ahead and poured some of the cream onto a plate. I'm choosing to use a foam brush. If you don't have a foam brush, you can use a paintbrush. You can even use a Q-tip. But the goal here is to apply um, a layer to the voided area. So as you can see here, we're just gonna put a pretty good amount on. It's kinda of like the consistency of watered down um, glue. You don't need to put like big globs because unless you can leave it laying down, you don't want it to drip down the bottle. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this on around all the edges. If you do get some on a spot where you do not want it, make sure you wipe it off immediately. It's 
covered. Basically, that is it. You put the uh, etch cream on and you leave it on. I'm gonna go ahead and leave mine on for about 10 minutes, but please make sure you read the bottle of this etch cream um, thoroughly so you understand what product you're using, um, the risk involved, wear gloves, et cetera, and how to clean up. But we're gonna go ahead and let this set for 10 minutes. Um, so this process is actually what is going to put the etching on your glass. Now that it's been at least 10 minutes, um, you can go ahead and rinse it off and you simply just go to your sink and just kind of rub it a little bit. You don't need to use soap at this point. But I would recommend using water to rub it off and not just um, paper towels because again, you don't want to deal with the cream when you're trying to clean this off. So just rinse it off so you don't see any more etching cream. So after you dry the bottle, you can go ahead and take off your gloves at this point because all of your cream is gone. And you're going to go ahead and pull off your contact paper or your vinyl and hope that it works. Um, and if it doesn't, try again. So let's see here. Okay, once your vinyl is off, you then need to take it to the sink and use soap and water. But you can tell, I hope you can see from the back side, if I put something dark behind it, um, you can see that the heart actually is etched in there. And you can then, if you want to, you can go ahead and decorate the top of your bottle with some twine. Um, leave it however it is, I'm not sure what kind of glass you chose. And again with this, this is just the simple start how to do it and the steps how to do it. There is a lot of templates you can use. Again, if you have the Cricut, you can really make some nice stenciling for yourself. At the dollar store, they sell some pretty nice stencil that's already made. Um, just remember, you're gonna be using the voided area of the vinyl. So when you're looking for words, um, not necessarily what is written, but what it's gonna look like on the finished voided product. So you can get really fancy in this. You can put a lot of pieces all the way up. Um, you can make one big one depending on the size of glass. It doesn't have to be a bottle. It can be plates. It can be cups. Um, really anything that's a um, nice piece of glass that you want to work with. So make it your own. And as always, be creative. Make it your own and have fun. See you next time. Bye.